staying with us this morning, 720. This week, there are multiple food and drink events going on. If you're a food lover, this is your week. <laughs> All the details now with ABQ 365's event expert, Aaron Scott. It's good to have you back Good morning. this week. Every Wednesday morning, we talk about what's coming up. And this, this weekend, there's, as you mentioned, all about food. The Macaroni and Cheese Festival is a big one, which yes. is, that sounds like a lot of fun. I know. I was just saying, I'm, I'm very excited about this one. So it's a 21 and up event. So no kiddos at this okay. one. Okay. Oh, really? No kids. <laughs> right. Okay. Good to know. So um, $45 gets you into the event. And once you're in, you have unlimited samples of macaroni and cheese as well as wine and beer. St. Clair is one of their sponsors for the event as well as. Um, American General Media. So it's going to be a huge fiesta. It's over at the Balloon Museum. Um, again, $45, like I said. So definitely snag your tickets and it's going to be delicious. Does that include the food and the drinks? Uh huh. It does. All inclusive. Um, wow. Limited samples, yeah. Wow. Okay. So that, you know, that there's a lot of folks here that are thinking, oh, I'd love to go mm -hmm. eat lunch there. But that sounds like lunch and dinner. <laughs> All right. How much does that cost, did you say? It's 45. 45. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Next food event is the Bite of ABQ. Mm -hmm. That's coming up soon, too. So this is happening just adjacent to the Mac and Cheese Festival. It's happening on Balloon Fiesta Park. So this is much more affordable, only $5, but it doesn't include food. That's just your entry. Mm -hmm. um, so there's going to be a lot of local food trucks there as well as craft beer vendors. So it's a yummy event as well. That's taking place at? That's at Balloon Fiesta, Balloon Fiesta Park. Park. That's mm -hmm. what I thought. And another, we, we've had several summer fests going on across the city. Yeah. A lot of concerts that were involved with that. Some fi family mm -hmm. fun too, right? Definitely. For kids and adults. The West Side one is coming up. Mm -hmm. What's that all about? So this is the last summer fest of the season. And like you said, it's a very family friendly event. So this is a great one to bring the kids to. It's happening um, out by Cottonwood Mall. So on Alameda, I'm sorry, on Ellison, just between Alameda and Coors, just north of the mall. Um, so there's going to be live music from George Clinton, which is kind of like soul funk music. Another local band named Soul Kitchen is going to be performing as well, and they're hugely popular here mm -hmm. in town. So it should be a really fun show. Um, food trucks, yeah, all kinds of things. Absolutely. Kids activities should be a really good that time. That sounds like a lot of fun. I like that they've been able to bring in some big name performers, right? Yeah, definitely. We had a couple out. Uh, one one was in uh, North Domingo Baca Park uh -huh. as well, and then downtown. Smash so Mouth. And Smash Mouth. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so food trucks, beer gardens, look for that. That is family friendly, right? Uh huh. Definitely can bring yeah. kids to that one, and it's free, so why not go? <laughs> How about the Tomato Fiesta? We had the folks from the Tomato Fiesta on earlier. This, oh, great. Was it earlier this week or last week? I can't remember, but it sounds like a lot of fun too. Yeah. So this is at the Albuquerque Garden Center, and this one is happening on Sunday. Um, I believe it's from about 11 to 3, so perfect to go for lunch, especially if you're a tomato lover. This is the event for you. So they do, they're going to have a whole gardening seminar and give you tips for how to grow your own tomatoes coming up for next year, as well as an heirloom tomato taste off. Then you can grab lunch at their little cafe. Should be really fun. And I hear take, uh, you can take courses too on how to cook with tomatoes. Mm -hmm. which would yeah, be really get some interesting. Cooking tips. All right, this also came out recently. New Mexico being called one of America's best beer cities, but it's actually Albuquerque, right? Yep. The Albuquerque metro area. So there are tons of great breweries throughout New Mexico, but particularly mm -hmm. this ranking was related to Albuquerque from travel and leisure. So they ranked us as one of the best beer cities in the United States, which is hugely complimentary. We have a ton of great breweries that are really up and coming here throughout the metro area. So they highlighted La Cumbre as well as Marble Canteen Brew House, some of the, the most popular ones. Um, La Cumbre actually also just created a state beer that they're kind of premiering at oh, the neat. state fair this year. It's a cream ale, so I'm really excited to try hmm. that one. With all of the microbreweries across the country to have that kind of an honor is a pretty big deal because mm -hmm. that's a, definitely a growing industry. Yeah. All right, so abq365.com. Exactly. You're also on social media. Uh -huh. We'll link to it to uh, krqe.com under the links to get all the details on the upcoming events. Thanks, Erin. Thank you. We'll be right back.